surely there won't be fish around here, right? <gasps> this is too small to be an escape pod, but it's fucking something. Solonum. I am here! After watching Wander the Skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on Quantum Moon. Oh shit, I think we've already read this one. Because we've recalled this shuttle already. Dang it, that's not as useful as I want it to be. Still cool that we found it, though. Alright, well, it didn't look like on our map that we did teleport, but... We are now free of the cliffs we were dealing with before. But now there's a big bramble mess in the way. Maybe now, now that we've led the tower closer, it'll make another jump for us. Why don't we try that? Oh! Oh, shit! That's super cool! Okay, so we might not get any more Bramble answers, but I realize what it is. The location we're at, the terrain of Quantum Moon will... Um, change as well. The weird tiles we were dealing with before were um, brittle hollow tiles, and now we're orbiting around Dark Bramble, so the moon itself also has Bramble shit. Okay, now we're outside Giant's Deep, so that's going to be interesting. Yeah, now there's fucking storms everywhere, but there's still a giant storm around North Pole, so I don't think that's going to help us all that much. This might just fucking kill us, but I'm curious. Oh, wait, these are the twins. I thought this was the sun station. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's going to be bad news, but we'll see. Um, that is not technically the North Pole, buddy. So do you want to swing around to here, please? Thank you. Holy shit. Let's see what the fuck is about to happen. No, no, please, please, please keep going. Okay, no, that's, no, no, not that. No, that's not... I figured once it's at the North Pole... Am I not technically at the North Pole? Am I slightly off? I'll give it one more shot, and if it's not... Okay. We looked pretty dang close, but... Looking a little bit closer, we might not be technically right at North Pole. So let's give another shot. Okay, so it should be, like, right here. That looks pretty good. This looks like pretty much the North Pole to me. So did it the first time, but... Let's try it again.
Nope. That's that's brambles. Guys, we are so close to having a really cool moment. And, uh... Okay, sh okay, shit. Okay, so now it's... I, okay. Now, now we're in... Now we're going to activate the 2001 monolith and see what the fuck is around. Okay, a lot of quantum rocks. I can see that much. Worth noting my ship is nowhere to be seen, because of course it's not. I'm on the quantum moon still, according to my signal scope, so that's a positive thing. I don't think this will give us the eye of the universe because Sol like Solanum and presumably multiple other Nomai have made this trip, I think. Hey, man. Holy shit! Where are we? Oh, don't do this to me. Okay. Yeah, you spoke to us. We're astronauts, and we... You're the Nomai, and we're looking for the eye. Okay, yeah, I, I pretty much get it. Oh, I can pick up the quantum moonstone? Oh, shit! Oh, I hope we have enough time for this. Okay, so quantum moon plus eye of the universe. Let's fucking go! I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location is currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giants Deep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes its, in its different forms, the eye, being this moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it is consciously observed. What would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? Okay, I want to figure out so much, but on this cycle, I think we're going to... Let's, let's stick with our most important. You? Oh, you is insulinum. Sorry to make you keep doing this. Me and my clan have believed the eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe this, the eye was malevolent, to have lured my clan to its th this star system, only to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday, but I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. I want to find out so much more about you, but... I really want to find out stuff about the eye also. Yeah, here's the me stone. This is so cool. I fucking love this. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? Okay, that one wasn't very useful, dude. Identify. I don't know how I was able to tell if that's what that means, but all right. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan, clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. Explain. Yeah, please explain. Surely you know a little bit more. There, are fun there is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, the uncertainty grows enormously. 
The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in this star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. What would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Alright, I like having the explain stone on here. Let's, let's go through some of these other ones. Uh, sure, let's see what happens. This will probably just explain how things work. But I want to make sure I get it all. These are the two tenets of Know My Philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. Oh, that's fun. Hey, identify me, please. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine. To learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did? Alright, so you're a little bit out of the loop, which is fine, but good to know. Hey, identify you. I am on my first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. All know my and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the Quantum Moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the Quantum Moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Okay, that's really interesting. Because she, I think she, I'm not entirely sure, but she sees that is like, I'm still on my pilgrimage. Which tells me she probably doesn't think all that much time has passed. But I'm still hearing the music, so it's not like the quantum moon is protected from the cycle, I don't think. I mean, we'll see what happens when the music ends, but I assume she was our third mask and she's getting sent back in time too, but she hasn't even really talked about that. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon's surface does now, while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum. Thus, the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum, the same way the areas surrounding quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually become quantum too. Okay. I think that's explain for everything. I'll see what happens if I... I think we got this one. Oh, we're far enough away that we don't get blown up by the sun. So in that case, what actually does draw us back? Is it just because it's a 22 minute loop? Like the first time the sun exploded, it activated Hmm. Yeah, I think that might be what it... Okay, yeah, maybe I did... I technically didn't die in that timeline. But I, st I still got the memories sent back 22 minutes anyways. Because technically the dying is not what sends the memories back. It's just that's all I can remember before I die. <gasps> Holy shit. Yes, we have some work to do. That's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. Okay, so that's our third mask. It's me, Gabro, and Solanum. Um, I also, like, I've I've been making fun of the quantum cults a lot in the game. Solanum specifically has seemed like a really interesting and cool character. And so I actually am pretty happy it's, it's uh, them. I mean, there are some others that we've been reading logs from that it'd be cool if we saw them as well. But... Like, plot-wise, yeah, the person who said, hey, I'm going to go to the quantum moon is probably going to be the one we find in the quantum moon. So, story-wise, yes, that absolutely makes the most sense. Um, 
And also the character seemed chill enough. That That is an exciting thing. I know Quantum Moon was around. No, go away from there now, please. It doubled back to the twins twice. And I don't want to put it there because it goes into the sun. get us what we need, right? Sure, I guess at this point, just do that. Shouldn't much matter if I've got that picture of it, right? Hopefully that counts. It's a very small picture, but it is a picture of it. Okay, so we covered all I of the Universe com uh, uh, conversations and all explain conversations. So we have identify, and then we can try to mix and match with the last couple. Oh, this is fun. It's like a nice little sandy shore. Sorry, bud. I wonder who that is. Maybe it's the cult leader. That's fine. Show me them shrines, baby! Oh, at least gravity's still super low. I, s I see storms and I'm like, shit. Feels like very, very interstellar vibes. Giant storm in the background, knee high water around the entire planet. Very spooky. Okay, so it looks like the twins. I don't know if this is a consistent thing, but it seems like the twins will get us to the North Pole if I can get it to get to the twins. Now, I'm just curious to see what Timber Earth looks like, though. Because we haven't tried that one yet. That's quite pleasant. And it looks like there's nothing really blocking our way to the North Pole. Oh, geysers. That's what I'm hearing. I'm like, why is there so much stormy splashing? It's the geysers. Please, please get here. Please get here. There we go. God, this is cool. Some of these I can just check the floor, huh? I don't even have to look over. Nope. Okay, I also don't even have to move the little light out of sight. It counts as obscuring my vision even though it gives off a little bit of light. Now, gravity is very low here. So 
So if I do just jetpack up into oblivion, what do we think happens? Alright, howdy howdy. I don't know if I should have to ask that question. My my character has definitively already been here. Okay. I don't know how useful these are going to be, but let's try identify. No, don't drop it on the floor. Okay, we've tried Eye of the Universe. We tried Identify. We've done Explain You. I don't know if we've done Identify You. I am Solanum, a Nomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Alright, we're gonna wait to do the funniest one to last. <laughs> This is the quantum moon, where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Alright, buddy. How about this? Identify me. <laughs> I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. Okay, that was a sweeter interaction than I expected. I was trying to troll you a little bit. Okay, so we've done... We've done these two for everything now, and we've done... We've linked up Quantum Moon with... Um... Eye of the Universe. Let's try Quantum Moon and me. Is this your first time on the Quantum Moon? It's my first time here. If you've come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. I'm realizing I'm defaulting back into my uh, Kasumi voice that I also used for uh, Bayo from, not Bayonetta, B-E-O from Signalis, a character that I feel like the majority of people who have even played Signalis have no idea who I'm talking about. But there's a select chosen few who know that she's the best character in the game and I'm one of them. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Oh, I love selling them. Okay. Is that the me... Me for everything? I think so. So let's try you and Quantum Moon. Like many in my, of my clan before me, I've journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that it may, I may not be entirely... Okay, we have read that one, actually. Have we read... We might have done moon with everything. Have we read... You and the eye? Many in my clan have believed that I called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe... Okay, we have ordered that one as well. Oh, no. The first... She just says, I may not be entirely alive twice. So actually, I think her and the Quantum Moon, we have not checked in until now. Um... I think that's pretty much everything. Have we done me and the I? I feel like I tried I with everything because it felt like the most important, but I forget what this one was. Okay. 
I think that's pretty much everything. I know we got all combos with these three. I know we got all combos with the... I'm pretty sure we got all combos with the eye. And so the remaining ones are Quantum U, Quantum Me, and then I think just Me U. So I'm pretty sure we've hit everything. So thank you, friendo. Anyways, this is fucking terrifying, huh? And also, the gravity is quite low. So, yeah, you know what? <sighs> Gotta die at some point anyways. Fuck it, why not? Also, my ship's not anywhere around here either. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. Where is my ship? It should still be near the South Pole, shouldn't it? <laughs> it's not specifically on the Giant's Deep South Pole, is it? That would be tedious. Let me see if I can get there. Because mostly, I, it's not that I am like, oh yeah, I'm totally done with the Quantum Moon forever. I'm curious, does it say I've mastered these? No, it's to still tell me to recall them. Um, I just want to check the ship log. I want to see what else I can, I can glean from all of that. Because that... So, that gave us both exactly what I expected and nothing about what I expected. It answered a lot of questions, sort of. And it did get us to the Eye of the Universe, but we can't leave. And in fact, if I try to leave, I get booted back to the South Pole again. So that was not the answer. Okay, yeah, cool. My ship is just fucking gone. <laughs> Great! Oh. Never mind. My ship is in space. My ship didn't teleport with me. Because I guess it was looking. I don't know why the rules of that would be the case, but... It's going to be really tricky. I've started uploading the LP, and I've noted uh, it is very difficult to match orbit with anything around Giant's Deep. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna meditate on this one, lads. I'm gonna use the restroom also. Okay, on the one hand, that was incredibly cool. On the other hand, it answered zero questions about our remaining non-quantum moon mysteries, and I was hoping there'd be a couple more connections there. But let's take a look at our log and see what we have pieced together from that entire ass endeavor. Real word? Solenum doesn't get a little extra box. She's just included in sixth location. I'm at a living no my name's Solenum on the South Pole. The quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. 
At this location, the quantum movement becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all macroscopic quantum phenomena in the solar system. Solonum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. Solonum has a hypothesis that she may not be entirely alive. And it does say there's, n it does not say there's more to discover here. So we have two and a half remaining mysteries. I'm for the moment linking together Vessel and Escape Pod 3 because they should both still be on Dark Bramble. And then we've got the Buck and Ash Twin Project. Physically sealed off. Advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber. I'm curious, because I still think the reason the statue is activated is because that shell got broken. So I am still curious if I wait till the very end of the cycle and then puts around on Ash Twin, would I be able to find a little, a little tiny crack somewhere in there? And then, yeah, what else do we have? One of the three Nomai escape pods never made it out of Dark Bramble. Nomai warped the solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the eye of the universe. The Vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. Nomai City suspended... On a switch that lowers the black hole forge, debated how to obtain. No, I debated how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core required for the Ashton project. I kind of remember that, but I don't remember. It's curious that the um, arrow is pointing to the vessel mystery. In absence of any other leads, why don't we just double check that information? Because I, 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 first off, I remember exactly where it is, which is uh, useful. And secondly, I'm curious if there's going to be any more information we can glean from it. Because that was the one where they were like, kind of theorizing, like, should we just build it from scratch? And the answer seemed to be yes. But there were people who were theorizing, like, could we try to find it? And if there's even a conceivable situation where that answer is yes, I'd like to see what information they have in that department, you know? If I'm not even supposed to find the, the... Again, the fact that they're separate mysteries is very interesting to me. Because I'm curious if I'm supposed to... Especially now that the I, I double-checked and it's like, Hey, is there stuff in the Hanging City about this? Now it's starting to make me think, maybe I'm supposed to find... Oh, hey, Quantum Moon. I am supposed to find one... Probably the escape pod on Dark Bramble... But perhaps the information I'm supposed to glean from the vessel I can get from, like, I don't know, calling back the warp core. We've called back so many shuttles. I'm curious. I know they said the warp core was damaged, but I'm curious if that's viable. I could have sworn there were already holes in the surface. I'd like to find one, cause it's a really handy shortcut for me. I guess I'll go to the escape pod, and I'll take the long way. But that kind of sucks for me, and I hope that I can find some kind of shortcut. Because this doesn't even lead into the hang city. This leads to a temporary settlement. Have you read that one? Might as well check. 
aqui. Right back. Right back, I need you. Right back. Right back, please. 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 Yes. God bless you, friend. I'm in a hurry, can I ask you something? I talked to a living Nomai! Ah! That doesn't make any sense, I don't understand. I'm very excited for you though. Please stop yelling. What? On the quantum moon you said? There's a sort of living Nomai on the quantum moon? Well, why didn't you say so? Oh wow, wow, this is the best thing that's ever happened in the history of Outer Worlds Ventures. I can't believe you talked to an actual Nomai. Great, so I just have to go back into space File the quantum moon with zero visibility, find a spooky ruin, and travel through a few different types of dangerous terrain to get there. Okay, yeah, that's that's not so bad. That's probably doable. Yeah, I also uh, went to the comet, I suppose. Oh, wow. Wow. So that's how the Nomai died? That's really sad, isn't it? I know it was a long time ago, but still. Stars above, it's lucky we hadn't evolved to live on land yet. To think, if the comet hadn't killed them, our species might have coexisted in this solar system. That would have been amazing. But, I guess if I hadn't wanted to learn why the Nomai disappeared, I'd have never left Timber Hurricane and come out here, or had any of these adventures. Don't get me wrong, space is terrifying. But, you know, it has its moments. Cool. Yeah, now I kind of want to share that info with everybody. If they all have fun things to say, potentially. No, not the tower. Oh, it's up here, isn't it? I do like Gabbro. I have a feeling if I tell Gabbro, their response will be, Cool, man. Yeah, I distinctly remember it's on this wall. I don't remember which scroll it is. Okay, that's that's option one. Or that that's asking the options. Now I have to go find the scrolls to reveal the options. We could craft a new advanced warp core and spiral vessels. The core is it the safest. Is it the safest? The best. Tried so long to find something that might be impossible to find. So we should try to find something that would harm. We could craft it. Abandoning, abandoning its warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. It's true, but it's knowledge we have a little hope of recovering. I think it would be best to relearn. We don't have the design or any of the original crafters. Poke was apprenticed, and the Black Hole Forge can make it. Warp Core is created for my time. Okay, so that is the option of we don't try to get the Warp Core back. I am looking for the other scroll. Alright, let's check a look. See if this gives us anything. <laughs> 